In this video, we're going to work through an example of solving a difference equation by hand to find the output for a given input and set of initial conditions. Our goal is to find the output y of n for an input x of n that's given by 5 times sine of pi over 2 n and initial conditions y at minus 2 equals 20 and y at minus 1 equals minus 2 and the system that we're going to look at is described by the difference equation y of n minus 1 fourth y of n minus 2 equals x of n minus x of n minus 1. So this system has order n equals 2 because that's the maximum delay involving the output variable y of n. Now the output consists of two terms. A steady state response which is the response of the system to the input signal under steady state conditions and then the transient response which is the response associated with the initial conditions. So we're going to look first at the steady state response and recall that we want to write the input in the form of some combination of exponential signals z1 to the n and since we have a sign in this case we can write that as a combination of two exponential signals where z1 is e to the j pi over 2 and z2 is e to the minus j pi over 2. So we'll write our input x of n as 5 over 2j e to the j pi over 2n minus 5 over 2j e to the minus j pi over 2n. So for an input of this form the output is given by the sum of the same two exponential signals and the amplitudes in phase are modified by h of z1 and h of z2. And h is the system function which we can write as 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 minus 1 fourth z to the minus 2. And that follows directly from the coefficients of the difference equation. And in this case h of e to the j pi over 2 is 1 minus e to the minus j pi over 2 over 1 minus 1 fourth e to the minus j pi because that's z1 raised to the minus 2 power and that becomes 1 plus j over 5 fourths or 4 fifths times 1 plus j. And similarly h of e to the minus j pi over 2 becomes 4 fifths times 1 minus j. So if we combine these two terms using our coefficients from h of e to j pi over 2 and h of e to the minus j pi over 2, we can write the steady state response y s of n as 5 over 2j, 4 fifths times 1 plus j, e to the j pi over 2n, minus 4 fifths times 1 minus j, e to the minus j pi over 2n. And I'm going to combine the terms associated with the real part of these coefficients and the terms associated with the imaginary part of the coefficients. We're going to cancel the 5 in the denominator and the 5 here in the numerator from both terms and we can write this as pulling out the 4 as 4 times e to the j pi over 2 minus e to the minus j pi over 2 times n. That corresponds to this coefficient times e to the j pi over 2 and then the real part over here times this and we've got the 2j in the denominator and this looks like a sine function which it is so we have 4 sine pi over 2n and then the combining the imaginary terms the j's here cancel the j in the denominator and we end up with e to the j pi over 2 plus e to the minus j pi over 2n divided by 2 and that's just cosine pi over 2n. So we had a real valued input, of course we're going to end up at the end of the day with a real valued output, although we have some complex arithmetic to work through in order to get there. Now recall that the transient response is of the form a sum of terms from 1 to the order of the difference equation, which in this case is 2, of constant c sub l times exponentials d sub l raised to the nth power and these d sub l's are the roots of the system's characteristic equation which in this case given the coefficients of the difference equation becomes 1 minus 1 fourth z to the minus 2 equals 0. And for finding these roots we're going to make this a little easier by multiplying both sides of this equation through by z squared to get z squared minus a fourth equals 0 and that can be rooted fairly easily 
to find that d1 has to be 1 half and d2 is minus 1 half. So our transient response takes the form c1 1 half to the n plus c2 times minus 1 half to the n. Next we're going to see how to find c1 and c2. So we combine our steady state response and our transient response to get the complete solution and the solution is what we're going to choose C1 and C2 so that it satisfies the initial conditions. So I've just written Y sub S plus Y sub T here and recall that this form holds for times N greater than or equal to zero. So we're going to take our initial conditions and to find C1 and C2 we first translate them forward in time to a time region where the solution is applicable and so we are going to find y0 and we can obtain that from the difference equation by rewriting it in the form y of 0 is 1 fourth y of minus 2 plus x of 0 minus x of minus 1. If you look at the input x of 0 is sine pi over 2 times n which for 0, n equals 0 is going to be 0. And of course, x of minus 1 is also assumed to be 0. So we find that our initial condition for y of 0 is just 5. And then y of 1, translating one step forward again using the difference equation, is going to be 1 fourth y of minus 1 plus x of 1 minus x of 0, substituting in for x of 1 and y of minus 1, we obtain that y of 1 is 4.5. So now we have our initial conditions in the same time interval that our solution applies, and we can solve for C1 and C2. So we know that y of 0, which is 5, is has to be equal to the right-hand side of our solution at n equals 0. So we'll put n equals 0 in here. And we have 4 sine pi over 2 times 0 plus 4 cosine pi over 2 times 0 plus C1 plus C2. And this first term, sine pi over 2 times 0 is 0. Cosine pi over 2 times 0 is 1. So we'll take this 4, move it to the other side, and get 1 equals C1 plus C2. And for the second set of equations, we're going to use y of 1. And we'll have 4.5 is equal to 4 sine pi over 2 times n equals 1 plus 4 cosine pi over 2 times n equals 1 plus c1 times 1 half to the 1, which is just 1 half, plus c2 times minus 1 half to the 1, which is minus a half. And again, here cosine pi over 2 times 1 is 0, so sine pi over 2 times 1 is 1, so I have 4 here, and I'll move that to the left-hand side, subtract it from 4.5 to get 1 half has to be equal to 1 half C1 minus 1 half C2. Here we have two equations and two unknowns, and we can solve these for C1 and C2. And if you go through that process, you find that C1 has to be 1 and C2 has to be 0. So finally, our solution y of n is 4 times sine pi over 2n plus 4 times cosine pi over 2 times n plus 1 half to the n. We obtained that answer by first finding the steady state response. Then we found the form of the transient response. We combined the steady state and the transient response and used the initial conditions to find the unknown coefficients in the transient part of the response.